Sorry, I didn't do a closeout video last night, so I'll do it this morning. September the 4th, I did 24.1 miles. That's right, 24.1. It's a good day, good easy day. Had a heck of a climb at the end, mile and a half up, but I trucked it on up here and did real good. Got to the shelter and uh, had, a reti had a, a retired sergeant major from the military. Really nice dude, enjoyed talking to him. And had a police chief from Georgia. Really nice dude, enjoyed, had really good conversations last night. Both of them are wanting to hike the trail and everything. And uh, it's just had a really good, really good night. Uh, not cold. Got my stuff on right now. It's a little chill in the air, but it won't be on long. So 24 miles, long day by myself walking, but had good company last night. September the 5th, about 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm moving on. Had good conversations last night with the guys. The sergeant major retired and the police chief. Really good company. Uh, got talked into trying 21 miles today. After 24 yesterday, I was like, oh, that's going to be it. I'm going to do about 16 and get out of here. But he said, the, the chief said it's 21 miles of easiness. I'm going to see how easy it is. So uh, hopefully I'll have more views today than deer. Yesterday was just deer everywhere, not much views. Maybe I'll get some today. All right, y'all have a good day. Still got my jacket on. I'm gonna take it off shortly and uh, get some fresh air. But I'm looking forward to a cheeseburger for lunch. I skipped it yesterday. I don't think I'm gonna skip it today. My stomach's growling a little bit. And I don't wanna lose too much weight. Uh, I talked to Law this morning. She's doing good. She had Raiden in the bed with her. He's the early riser of that family. I'm not sure he's part of that family. He gets up so early, but he can crawl out of his crib. But he can't turn a doorknob. So all you can hear is the doorknob shaking and him grunting and wanting out. So she had him this morning when I talked to her. So she's doing good. She's getting ready to go down to where he's to Florida. So everything will be good. Uh, get some views. I'll show it to you. But I'm not going to show y'all any more deer today. I had deer all day yesterday, and I'm actually I'm tired of seeing. I did see a baby bear yesterday. I'm pretty 90, about 99 percent sure it was a young bear. I saw it as it went over the hill. I never saw the mama, so. I saw a lot of bear scat yesterday, so I kept looking for the bears. I'm about 99% sure I did see a young bear. All right, holler later. Well, I've been walking almost three miles, and the chief, police chief, told me, he said, man, it's an easy 22 between here and there. This is what the trails mostly look like this morning. Had a little uphill, but it wasn't much. Got some views off to the side, but I can't quite see them yet. Hopefully, I'll get to those before long. Uh. Gratuitous mushroom video of the day. Hey, Lar, I stopped to look at the mushrooms. Well, the trail's been easy today. But this right here has been the hardest part and the most pain in the buttocks part there is. I keep having to go under these or over these. There ain't been many around these. So. But it's a lot of this going on, so it's slowing me down some, but it's just an inconvenience. First view of the day, you can see Skyline Drive right over there. And that's a nice little reach. I'm not gonna walk, cause I'm going the other way. And you got some distant mountains out there and it's really pretty in the little towns houses in the valleys been a good day it's cooled off enough that i took my excuse me warmed up enough i took my hoodie off i'm ready to roll wow so far i've been 126 miles since i started harper's ferry 900 more miles to go all right a little trail magic from the sergeant major this morning oh a little jiff, a little honey. Pretty good, pretty good. I appreciate it so much. Walking along today, I just realized this is the first day I've broken a sweat in at least three days. Hills aren't bad. The trail isn't bad. It's a little bit warmer than it's been, which is fine because it's been cold. But, uh, just hit me on the head. I just finna wipe my brow and I'm thinking, wow. 
there's sweat up there. Finally get to one of these little pullover road sections. I don't have to walk to two tents or three tents to get a view. I've been really wanting to see one of these because these the pullover spots are beautiful. And uh, there's the parking lot. That's, that's Skyview Drive. But this is the view when you pull over here. This right here is worth the effort just to see this and catch this breeze. The only bad thing is, is I like the views best that you gotta walk to that you can't drive to because anybody can see this view. The ones you really work for that nobody else can see, those are the best ones. Toughest climb so far in a couple days, but man, the payoff. See a long way. Help if I hold the camera better. See a long way. And blue haze. All right. Hey, Mama. How you doing? You finally got off the trail for me before I got the camera out. She didn't want to move at first, but she did. All right. All right. So I stopped for lunch at the camp store. It's the last one at the park. I'm going south. Give me something good to eat. I don't even like chicken salad sandwiches, but I got one of those and some other stuff. Got a smoked white turkey with cheddar. And I got chicken salad. It'll be alright. I got a Coke. And I got my souvenir. I got a hiking stick back home. That I keep souvenirs from places I've been. And I was gonna do an Appalachian Trail when I get through, but I got one for the National Park also. About eight more miles to go today. About 3.30. January the 5th. January my butt. Uh, September the 5th. Walking along the cliffs here, got good views, really good views. Nice walk, I got less than, about less than eight miles to go to finish up for the day. I've meandered along and just enjoyed my day today. And tomorrow, it'll probably be about a 14 mile day and I'll really enjoy that. Take it easy and all that stuff, so. But the way station, or they got the little store while I go to the camp store was really awesome. A good place, to, if you need to resupply, it's a great place to resupply everything you need to eat. Uh, good sandwiches I had. I hadn't had a Coke in a while. I really wanted one, really wanted one of those. Uh, sit there, charge some stuff, relax a little bit. Had people come up and talk to me. Very supportive of the hiking community. Uh, people had hiked the whole trail. People had tried to hike the whole trail and didn't hike the whole trail. Everybody's positive. It's a good atmosphere up here. Almost to the shelter, and this is the last view of the day. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Then you have all of these rocks down through here and those up there that we can't see because of the sun. But this has been a good day. Whew. Today's the day of, is the end of September the 5th. Laura's doing the dates. I don't, the dates, I don't know what they are. Anyway, this is the end of September the 5th. 21 miles, wasn't too bad. Uh, the last four miles were really easy. Uh, good views. Tomorrow's a 14 mile day and I'm gonna lollygag and meander and take a whole day to get there just to enjoy it. And got a room in Stanimals Hostel in Waynesboro. If you need to Google Stanimals, it's one of the most famous hostels on the trail. And I'm glad to get a get a bunk down there for Saturday night. Uh, Blue's Clues will be there. We'll meet up and Sunday. We'll start hiking south together, but today was a good day. Uh, met some interesting people, met a through hiker, Sobo named uh, Beatles song. Hey Jude, Hey Jude is his uh, tra trail name. Really good dude, I'll, in fact, he'll probably be with us tomorrow night. He stayed back at the campground earlier, so. All right, good day, productive day, enjoyed it. September the 6th, almost nine o'clock in the morning before I started. Slept really good last night. Uh, it's tired, really, really tired. A little. A little tingling in my left foot from all the miles. I'm gonna take it really easy today. I think it's 13.4 to the next hut. And then it's seven into town. So got the room at Stanables, Google Stanables. Really good, one of the most, I guess, iconic, famous uh, hostels on the trail. There's two of them, one, one here, and I think one up north. I don't remember where the other one is, but looking forward to that stay, some clean laundry and good shower. Uh, hopefully the day is going to be good. I'm going to do my best to get all the views in. I'm meandering along. No hurry today. See ya.
Well, I just I'm just passed up my first view opportunity. It was one mile to the view off trail, and I didn't really want to do those extra miles. So it is what it is on that. It's been a good morning, a little over three miles in. Some hills, but not bad hills. Trail's pretty pleasant again. Haven't hit a hard section yet. I'm just meandering along today, trying to rest up a little bit. My left foot was a little sore this morning, and I haven't had any soreness really in my feet to speak of. So I'm gonna walk slow, enjoy the trail. And should be a couple of views, hopefully, today. Just when you think the trail can't get any easier or, or accommodating, I guess is a better word, get pine needles. Pine needles are so soft. I'm going downhill again. I'm going to try to do every video today from now on going downhill. Whew. Been five miles this morning, right at two hours. Pretty pretty good trail. Just there thinking though, you know, I don't mind walking by myself. I, I can occupy my mind and I enjoy just walking and and it doesn't bother me. Uh, the only time I really get lonesome is when you sit by yourself. I mean, I'm in a break right now. I'll do 15 minutes. And I ain't got nobody to talk to. And for the last ever how many miles going north and everything, I always it's always somebody around to kind of talk to. So, uh, I don't think I could hike the trail completely by myself. Uh, like I said, with some people at the shelter last night, had conversation with them, but they're gone. I may never see them again. So you don't have that continuing conversation that you do with a family or a spouse or whatever, or a friend you're hiking with. So it's it's a little different. It's taking some getting used to. But moving along, and the sky, the, the road that runs through here is up ahead. Hopefully there'll be a view up there and I can sit and maybe get some signal and check on the family. See y'all later. All right, so Laura and I stay at a lot of huts and uh, shelters and stuff like that. Uh, it's just because of the bear activity and hanging a bear bag and just uh, the comfort and the social aspect. But if you walk along, there are places you can camp that are not a hut or anything. It's just on the side of the trail. And I walked up to one and I wanted to, to kind of show you what I was looking at. So if you get up close, there's a, a little trail leading off and you get over in the woods, not too far, you'll find some spots where people have been camping. And some people choose to camp places that aren't the huts and everything. And probably early on in the season when the norovirus is going, it's probably the best thing to do is to, to uh, stealth camp a good bit. But uh, I, we've, we really hadn't shown you too much of that, but a lot of those are on the Gut Hook app. When you, you check the app, it'll tell you mile mark or whatever, stealth site. And, uh, and some of them aren't there. And, We've passed up some. It's like, man, I'd really like to stay there, but we got places to go and all that. But that's just one of them I want to show you. Uh, we're still going downhill today and uh, almost through with the day. See ya. I just topped out on the Skyline Road. Dry eyes. A lot of times I didn't have a view. It's just kind of in a bad spot. This time it came out at a viewpoint and uh, I wanted to walk up and just take a little break. I got a lot of time left in a few miles, so it's not a big deal. But uh, what I'm seeing is fall starting to show up in the Shenandoah. So there's the, the distance you can see the color. And that's where I've come from, is back that way. So, but it's pretty, it's pretty. I'm gonna sit here for probably 15 minutes and just enjoy the, the view and some shade and and just relax. Gratuitous mushroom video of the day. There you go. Looking good. Whew, 13 mile day. I just finished up and uh, I said I wasn't gonna show any. Well, this ain't uphill, this is downhill. This is where I just came from. Walked about a mile of that, pretty much that angle to get to the hut up here where we're gonna stay. Uh, that was tough, that's the hardest part of the day. I'm boiling sweat. I sit at the bottom by the road down there where the big view was, 45 minutes to an hour just sitting. And I'm glad I sat because it was a walk up this thing. But uh, but you get to the top, and uh, very seldom is the, the hut, the shelter, whatever, within eyesight of the trail. Usually it's, this one's 0.3. So I'm gonna walk 0.3 miles to the shelter here in a few minutes and start some supper and 
get some rest and walk into town tomorrow. I'm gonna, uh, I'll be in Waynesboro tomorrow at Stanimals and uh, get clean and all that good stuff, resupply, get up with Blue's Clues, and we'll start walking south together before long, I hope. So I'm um, sit here for a few minutes and drink what's left of my water because there's a spring in point two and a shelter in point three. All right, that's my sign out for the day. It is, shoot, it's only 3.33. I didn't start till nine, that's 13 miles. And I literally lollygagged the whole day.